A today. lot of people work really, really hard for their dreams, but it's not meant for everybody. That's why you use auto tune and I don't. Actually, oh. you girlfriend? I don't. Do you think I'm hot? Eh, not really. Oh, why? Way many more people are attractive here than you. What's not hot about me? Your personality and your voice. My voice? You're a little too small. You can maybe like eat a burger and not be anorexic. Yeah, that's aggressive. I don't know who you're trying to impress. No one's going to simp over you. Okay, then you know what? You want to talk about women can handle stress better than men in some situations. Why is it that all of the most stressful jobs are dominated by men? Can you give us... What's an Flight, example of air, air traffic pilots. controllers, high-level surgeons, okay, uh, police me. officers, military, all of these high-risk jobs that are very dangerous, by the way, I might add, that women typically don't go into. Pilot. Why are they dominated by men if women are so good at handling stress? A lot of these careers that you're listing, right, are physical in nature. Air traffic controller is physical? No, Being a pilot I is physical? I said a lot. I didn't say all. Please. So which, which no. is one that's dominated by women? A high um, stress job. Absolutely. Honestly, straight up, child rearing. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you don't think raising children is stressful? Oh my god. You know? <laughs> women. <laughs> you had to rank yourself on a scale from 1 to 10. What would you give it? I give myself a solid 9.8. In LA? Mm hmm You must mean Los Alamos, not Los Angeles. Los Alamos? Do you know where I am? Yeah, not in reality. Like, all I want is a guy to choke me and then kiss me and tell me that I'm pretty. Like, I feel like that's not too much to ask for. She belongs to the streets. You like the red person in Thailand or Sayami? Mine. It's not Yola Habibi come to Dubai anymore. It's more like Malelo come to Thailand. <laughs> not mine. So have anybody else noticed usually the guy who begs you for months for a chance is usually the guy who plays you at the end? Like it don't make no sense. Like they'll beg and beg and finally when you give them a chance to play you. There's nothing for him there. You don't see the high. So it's just get in and get out. That's all. It's over! We're done! They're going after your right to get a divorce. Yeah, you heard that right. Right wing- Well guys, there you go. They're upset because they can't get half to all your shit so easy anymore. Look, I know I told you guys that I taste my coochie juice to see if I'm healthy. I am healthy, so I don't have to taste it for that. But the thing is, this one time, a guy gave me head and he told me, What do you do to your Coachella? It tastes so sweet. And I was like, what's that about? I gotta taste what it is. Okay, I started doing it way before that. But that day I was like trying to actually taste what it tastes like. Yeah, I don't know why I'm telling you that, y'all this but my cat gives meow, <laughs> but really does what? When I said I was an independent woman, I meant like I can pay my own bills. I didn't mean I wanted to shovel my driveway in between doubles. Travel time. <laughs> I hope I don't make anyone angry because this might be politically incorrect. But I love that there's things that men do for me that I don't know how to do. Like changing a tire. No idea where to begin. Um, but I don't need to know that because there's always a kind man who's going to help me. Um, also patching a hole in a wall because that just happens sometimes. Um, I don't know how to do that, but I've never needed to. Like, there's just things that I don't need to know how to do because there's always an awesome guy who does. So, like, why does there need to be such a disconnect? Why can't we just do the things we're good at? Like, for example, I'm really good at... And I'm also really good at math. Not mine. This is why you come to Miami for! This is why you come to Miami! Stop. This is why you come to Miami! That's the top boy! Stop. What? You think I'm still back at your name? Tell it on me! I got your name! Relax. Come inside. Cause he's not leaving and you're not leaving either. On to the streets. Where are my passport bros at? And I'm not talking about the Americans that go to other countries to find women. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about y'all men from other countries need to come to America and Christopher Columbus discover my ass. Cause I rest go. It's ghetto over here. 
and I'm not talking about the men. I'm talking about the laws are ghetto, the government is ghetto, the economy is ghetto, and I'm ready to go. Just, just, just come get me. Please, it's okay that we don't speak the same language. I will learn. I will Google translate my love to you, sir. And if you don't got kids, that's cool. I got two. I got a boy and a girl. Ready-made family waiting on you at the airport. Sir, please come get me. Let's go. And I'm ready to go. Does anybody want to get married? Um, because I need to, to get on this. Like, I need to have kids. I need to get married before my grandparents pass away. And I also need to have kids before my dog passes away because he's a really good kid dog. Um, and I'm running out of time. You guys, it is hard out here. Passport bros leaving low value modern women. The real truth, men should never settle for these low value women. Been going to Colombia for eight years and will be moving there at the end of the year. I am treated like a king by classy, intelligent, and very beautiful women. I think that if you want young girls that watch Destiny to learn about how hard relationships are, then let them watch Milan too. The whole movie they are pissed at each other until the end of the movie over something that could have been solved by talking. Women are used to dealing with men that tolerate their capriciousness, however, some men have their stuff together and let an entitled chick know that she cannot cross her in red lines. He's having the ribs. Okay. Because we're going to share. No. No. no, but this is a big problem. I like to pick off of other people's plates. She's going to have the ribs and right. then can I have a steak, please? We didn't agree that, but okay. So you're stubborn then, yeah? I get my own weight every time. Every time? Every time. Oh, hell no! Every girl wants their own way. Every girl wants to eat off your plate. <laughs> like, no is never the answer. No! I love shopping. You spend a lot of money on your outfits. No. It's not happening. I ordered the ribs, you eat the ribs. Bye, see you soon, bye. I think if you're out, you should put your phone away. Babe, it's you know what I've realised there's a lot of opposites between us. I text my friends a lot. I like someone that I can eat my food from their plate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe you need someone to teach you that you don't always get your own way. Then. He's a boss. These are the boundaries, woman. <laughs> Take it or leave it. No concessions whatsoever. If more men did what he did, sugar babies would be a minority in today's society. Let's check some comments. This is a real mental hangup with some women. They have their own food, but somehow have designs on yours too. Top man for not putting up with her nonsense. The waitress was turned on by the big no. <laughs> Proud of this man for standing up to this woman. Any man who would eat with her is either very hungry, very stupid, or very lonely. He is the real Giga Chad. Well played soldier, looks like she never grew out of that spoilt brat stage. That is ridiculously brazen to act like that on a date with a stranger, let alone live on national TV. I see many cats in her future. 99.9% .9 of women, no means no. Her, no is never the answer. Men. So, which is it? And look, if that was great, this is outrageous. When women cheat, they resort to the narrative that it's the man's fault. Clown world. Thrown I think out. if a wife cheats on her husband, he did something, like, wrong. Yeah, he, he made a fault, I think so. Like, I disagree. She's not oh, just going to I disagree. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to make sure I heard. If, if a husband cheats on a wife, you said? No, if no. a wife cheats on her husband... Oh, he no, did, I disagree with you. He did something, like, Oh, wrong. come on. Yeah. So, so if yeah. the woman does something bad, she has no agency, it's the man's fault. If a woman does something, no, 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 she's at fault too, but like she was probably telling him like for a while, like you're doing something. Like, let's well, you say probably, what, what if she wasn't? What if she just is a sociopath? Well, that's, I mean, um, I would believe in a, like a marriage that works, you would talk about things and try to... Marriages aren't easy, so you have to talk about things. You're not just gonna like not tell your husband yep. if he's like. But what if she? You. What if she did it and just? Would you guys on do that if you were married to someone? Would you guys like if they were upsetting you for a while? Would you just not say anything? No, I would talk about it. Yeah, you yeah. talk yeah. about I it and try to. I wouldn't cheat on. Yeah, I wouldn't cheat either. 
But what about the woman that does? What do you mean? What about the woman that doesn't talk about it and she just decides to go cheat? That's not the man's fault. That, I mean, why would she not talk about it though? What if she's just a bad person? Why would someone rob a bank? Why would someone murder someone? They're just, they're just bad people. But that guy married her, so he loved her, right? Yeah. So then he knew what she was when he married her. <laughs> well, that's if she's maybe just, not like, always just the a case. Bad person. What if, what if they, what if they've been married for like a week and then she cheats on him, right? So they really don't know each other as well as someone that's been married for but, twenty years. But when you be with someone for a while before you marry them. A lot of people don't. Unfortunately, that's not true. You're unfortunately, not like a lot of people don't. Always a cheater. Like you're not like born like a cheater, and like in the future, like, uh, like. It, Why would you just like marry someone you barely know? My brother got married within three months of knowing his wife. <laughs> hmm. That's Happens. weird. But he barely knew her, and he married her. Yeah, and they're still together. It's been three years. The, so, the, the so point it's is, not always bad then. it's not out of the realm of possibility or reality that a woman could cheat on a man and have it not be the man's fault. I think, I think you saying... So he's just doing everything right and she just loves him so much and she goes and cheats? Let me ask you this. Let's, let's say the man did do something wrong. Let's say the man... Um, let's say the man... Worst case scenario, okay? Is she justified in cheating? Yes, for... A, do you think so? I would, I would say she should get a divorce from him and not, yeah. and not well, cheat. Some she get a divorce and then cheat. Some people I've actually heard um, when they're being a they cheat to get out of the relationship to make them fall out of love with them. Like, Why wouldn't you just get a divorce? Because some um, divorces from people end in, can you say the D word? Like, like the man might. Yeah, we get the idea. If we rob a bank, is it the police's fault and the bank's fault and everybody but me? <laughs> Delusional. Imagine living a life where you answer to nobody, are not responsible for your actions, but are entitled to make adult decisions and demand not to be judged for those decisions. They are like children, no accountability. When I was at FT Bragg, we were required to inform our spouse of when we would return. Soldiers would regularly try to surprise their spouse only to find them cheating. When we deploy the local bars would report an 18% increase in sales. Cheating isn't exclusive to the military. The rates seem higher because it's a smaller population but is absolutely representative of national rates of infidelity. You knew this was going to be a facepalm as soon as the large one opened her mouth. The reality is that many women cheat because they have the opportunity to and the right guy is asking them to. I have an ex. Before me, she had this husband that was the alpha of alphas. He was 6'4", the captain of a fire department, and had also taken part in mountain climbing, smoke jumping, and extreme rescues. She has two boys that are 6'8 and 6'9". Now, you'd think a woman like this wouldn't cheat because her husband gave her no reason to? Nope. The right guy asked, she cheated, and her husband divorced her. The only consolation to this is that she knows she will never ever replace that guy. Oh well. That is probably the biggest red flag a woman can show just by talking. It's funny you could see all the women around her agree just because they knew what she was saying would trigger the men, so all you seen was smirks and giggles. But the second he asked her to elaborate and explain, and she started coming up with retarded reasons why a cheater would cheat, and all of a sudden, it's the other person's fault. You could literally see all the condescending smirks slowly disappear, and all of a sudden, they started acting like they wasn't paying attention. Accountability is a woman's kryptonite. Everything is men's fault, even if it isn't. Speaking of cheating, would you date an OF model kind of girl? I'm sure that, if at all, you'd just pump and dump with a condom, of course. I, I, I just, I need to come back to this. Do you guys genuinely think that the majority of men, so more than 50% of men, want to have a serious long-term relationship with a sex worker? I'm, I'm not saying, to. look, I'm not saying that you're not, you guys are hopeless and, hold on, let me just finish. I'm not saying that you guys are hopeless and you'll never find a guy. It may be very well be the case that you'll find a guy, fall in love, have a w fruitful, beautiful relationship. I'm just speaking in general here. Generally speaking, would you say that the majority of men are okay with dating a sex worker? So let's say 50, more than 50% of men would be okay with dating a sex worker. I'm not saying there aren't there aren't men that aren't down to fuck you. Clearly, there are. I think it depends on the girl. And be in relationships with you. Um, I don't think it's the majority. I think it's harder to date as a sex worker. Okay. Yeah. 
But like, from both But you things. seem to think that... I think there's a ton of people willing to date sex workers. I meet them all the time. I meet them on dating apps. But that, that's not what I'm do. asking you. I'm saying How the am majority. How I supposed to 50% majority? Like... Okay. All right. Well, let's... We're going to move. So then move how on. are you going to ask me that... How am I supposed to know that most men don't want well, that? Well, I'm not asking the majority What's up? question. What's up? You're the one claiming to know what most men want, so I'm wondering where that evidence is. I never claim to know what majority wants of anything. I think um I think it is entirely possible that you guys could find a long term boyfriend that is not traditional, that just um wants nothing more from you from your body, but I think you need to acknowledge that he's only there for your body. There's no, there's nothing more that he's in, he's looking from you for. I don't think that's true. I don't you don't either. think that's true? No. I think that's just judging someone for what they do for work and not who they are as a person. No, no, I'm not judging you. I'm judging the type of man that would be interested. I think oh, okay. yeah, I think I think I think a man that is comfortable dating a sex worker, I think they're deep in the in the coomer perverse rabbit hole, I think. That's what I think. What do you think about like a man that met a girl as she was a sex worker and then she decided she liked him so much and she wanted to quit sex work oh. and be with him? You what know what? You I This is where I differ from most guys, I think. I really genuinely, wholeheartedly believe in the individual character reformation redemption arc. I, I, really, I believe in the OnlyFans redemption. I do. I really, really do. But I think you need to be able to be introspective and, and say, listen, like this is something that's probably stopping me from finding the partner of my dreams that really values me as, a, as an individual for more than my body. But I, I so think... So what happens after years and years and years? That person still just wants you for just your body? Uh, no, no. I think, I think that if you have gotten out of that line of work, um, I, think, I think they're with you for other reasons, right? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. She said that made sense, but she'll probably believe whatever and never change her mind. If a man wants a chick just for her body, he's hardly looking for anything else. This is why getting and keeping a man are two completely different things. Dated a stripper for a while, it eats at you, it really really does. All these clips prove that women don't think logically, they feel. If it's above 0% possible, they only see possible, they don't understand probable. I'm fascinated with this. I'm curious to see what the future of relationships will be in the next half century or so. I'm kind of blackpilled, so I'm thinking things aren't really going to improve. I believe society will simply move towards single being the default with hookups being an expectation and actual loving relationships being an exception. Actually, I think it might already be like that. LOL. There's no point in warning them if they aren't willing to listen. If they truly believe their profession will not hinder their chances of settling down, let them believe in their fantasy. Father time will act as the ultimate reality check in due course. In my 69 years on this planet, I've never met a man who would want to marry or date a whore. In order to have a meaningful relationship with someone, you have to respect them. Men don't respect women who sold out their values for easy cash. We respect women who are intelligent, work hard, have high moral standards, and respect themselves enough to not become a whore. I don't want my wife to be someone with weak values slash morals and is known for being able to be bought by material things. Guys, thanks for checking out this video. Stay tuned for more daily content. Like, subscribe, and comment. See you in the next video, guys. Till next time.